The one conversation that is still lingered throughout the week is uh, the controversy around the death of Ilerio Lualoba. Uh, that's more bad. But of course, uh, that conversation generated a lot of momentum during the week. We saw a lot of protests across cities uh, across the country. And uh, we saw speedy action from the Nigerian police force who had to carry out an emergency autopsy uh, as far as going to exhume the body. Uh, that was already buried. Kemi, this uh, is a sad story, but of course, uh, perhaps one way or the other, the call for justice has been heard. Yes, and um, that is also a good, uh, a good observation, Emmanuel, that um, the government is listening, the police authorities are also listening, and, and that also explained uh, the position that the police took yesterday mm. uh, or two days ago following the protest that um, was done or the procession that was done in... Uh, Lagos on the Lagos Island, that is where we saw people in their thousands stripping out uh, in honor of uh, the late um, Imole. And uh, of course, there was an agreement by the, pro uh, by the procession managers that um, the procession would end around the particular area and not at the Lekki Toll Gate. But we did see some other groups of protest uh, or gathering at the Lekki Toll Gate. And well, uh, there's been division here yeah. and there. It's, it's, it's not the way we want to start our weekend, but of course, uh, this is a controversy or a conversation that's been trending. And uh, on our want, What's Trending segment, uh, we cannot skip past this uh, conversation that has dominated the week. Uh, Emmanuel Ajayi, um, the last 24 hours has brought a lot of dimension to it. We saw the aspect where the protesters also had to be, be told by the police that, look, mm. you guys have to understand that you cannot keep protesting. Action has already been taken about your demands. You should go back home. It's a sad development in the country at the moment, talking about uh, Iliru Lua Aloba, also known as Imole. Mm. Well, uh, talking about his death is something Nigerians are indeed reacting uh, to you, look at where he was exhumed. Um, it, um, he died on September the 12th, and, and the 13th he was buried. And going further, 14th, the PPRO to the Lagos State Police Command came out to say, well, investigation will be conducted. And okay. um, when you, you, you well, saw the 14 man panel um, in, brought, the, brought over the, the Lagos State Police Command to unravel the mystery behind this death. Uh, well, it's something uh, we want to call on Nigerians, especially the young ones out there, to allow uh, peace to reign. Let's take caution and ensure that uh, police uh, is doing the necessary uh, measures to unravel what really caused the death of Ilerio Lua. Well, of course, we still send our condolences to the families. And of course, uh, during the week, we had many visits to the parents, uh, including mm. from the presidency, uh, where one of the aides of the president paid a visit to the family to register their condolences. Of course, here on uh, TVC's Breakfast Saturday, we also register our condolences with the family and friends of uh, the late music superstar, who's profile seems mm. to have reason. So I, I love some of his lines. I love some yeah. of his lines that you don't have to kill uh, before you sing. These are some of these the things. Messages these are messages found. this and guy has appears, been, has been that passing that before he died. Unfortunately, uh, showcased him more to the entire mm. world. Uh, I can tell you that many people may not even reckon with some of his song when it was really... Uh, but if you listen to one of his lyrics, he said something about his, when he passed on, definitely at, at that time, more, he become more, more popular. Seems to be a prophet. It seems to be a prophet at, uh, with but those words that he had been churning out then. It's gratifying that his death will um, expectedly or will bring answers from the feelers we are getting mm. with the calls of the uh, Lagos State government to also open a corona's proceedings In mm. into how he died, to right. ascertain the controversies, this minus what the police um, are also doing, I think we will, and I hope that we will eventually get, get justice. To, to the bottom of this, mm. and that keyword justice. Kemi, mm. still stay with you, Kemi. Let's talk about the toll gate incidents. Uh, um, the Nigerian police force said they did their best to manage the situation, but of course, Nigerian youths must, respond, must understand that they also have to keep to the terms of the protest. They approved the protest for them, but at the point when they told them to disperse, uh, it was almost going to take another ugly turn. You could see the pictures there. And um, 
even the fallout, even the fallout of, of what we saw now, the protest leaders were emphatic because when they were told, when the police authorities told them that, but we had an agreement that all the protests should cease at 8 p.m. and no group should gather at the toll gate, mm. considering that it's on the corridor of the Lekki mm. Expressway, yeah. which leads all the way to Aja and it's beyond. A, it's, it's, so a major, it's a it's, major it's, traffic It's a major route, uh, and we all saw so the you can't keep it blocked for Absolutely. long hours. In fact, they mm. had no People business there. They had no business you know. to gather there from the uh, agreement that the police and the, and the procession leaders had you know, taken. And even the protest leaders had to go to meet mm. where the guard, uh, those gathering at uh, the toll gate to tell them to leave. They refused to leave. I mm. hope, I, 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 I hope, I, I hope I the youth are not I, seeing this as another cruise. Mm. Uh, I mean, because that would be very dangerous and unfortunate. We shouldn't, we, they, they shouldn't use uh, this as a yastic. They shouldn't use to, the death of a very, very... To cause mayhem, especially to in mayhem. Lagos. Absolutely. But let's listen to what the influencers, I mean, social media influencers are saying about the incidents. And of course, this is from Tacha who is a reality TV star. We all agree that every country has its issues. Every country's police have their issues, and Nigeria is not exempted. But what I will not agree with you people is trying to gaslight me and every other person on what happened yesterday, on the event of yesterday, trying to change the narrative. Now, let me ask you guys, what was the whole reason people left their houses to come out yesterday, right? Everybody came out for Mobad's candle night procession, yes? Where was it located at or where did it happen? It happened at the park at Bia. Now tell me, how did people leave the park to Lekki Togate, right? We can all agree that the organizer said you can all go home. Everybody saw when this event ended yesterday. You saw the celebrities leaving. You saw everybody going. But no, some people decided to pack themselves to Lekki Togit. Now, let me tell you, if you want to protest, it's not an issue. But a lot of people did not come out yesterday for protest. If you did say you they vex, a lot of people, they vex for this Nigeria. I'm sorry, but if you want to protest, pick a date. Get the date approved from the government, and then you can go out to protest. Like, stop changing the narrative. They started early and they ended early. They told everybody to go, but no. You people just want to bring up issues where there's no issues. And you see these people on Twitter, all of these so-called activists, let me bring it to you guys. Some of them don't have the heart of Nigeria to have. They don't care about you people. Though. They care about themselves. That is why once in a while they'll come on Twitter to come and add pepper where there's no pepper. To come and add salt where there's no salt. Because I will not understand how you will see everything that happened yesterday and you will still come online to run with the wrong narrative. Kudos to the Nigerian police on our tribal because I have seen videos of the Nigerian police begging you people to disperse yourself. But no. But no, people want to hijack a candle night procession for a brother of ours that died. And people should come online and support you people. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now people are getting injured. They said, oh, they threw tear gas. They said, oh, this happened. This happened. Why will all of those things not happen? If you had only gone home, do not hijack a movement. Everybody came out yesterday for mobile. We didn't come out for no protest. We did not come out to continue enters or nothing like that. Emmanuel. Uh, truth has no, uh, I mean, no filter. No, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I, mean, I think Tasha should be commended for, for this um, message to Nigerians, to the young ones there. You can't have an approval for a park that you find yourself on the highway. And that definitely, I mean, you, you, no you, you, you just can't do that because uh, you, you know what transpired at the uh, Lekki Togit uh, mm -hmm. saga. That, that, but um, I, now, young Nigerians at the moment should know that so when the police are saying you have the right to go out there and do your candlelight procession, you, you, nobody has that authority or no that right power, absolute. or that power to what to hijack the situation. Mm -hmm. You don't just hide under the angle of saying it's it's, it's justice for Mubad, and you start calling for what is not. The police authority are doing the right thing, saying that Nigerians shall wait the result of the autopsy. Let's wait for that result. Um, okay. uh, we, we we can't just jump the gun. And do and what I think is parents, not right parents must also time. play a role in letting uh, I mean our, I mean our young people understand that um, uh, we are not living in a banana republic. Where Definitely, where there are no laws, there yeah. are rules guiding uh, any form of public gathering and all that. So please, uh, if you're out there and you're thinking perhaps that this is the way to go, please let's be law abiding. Let's express ourselves without creating chaos or I mean controversies. Indeed.